Hey everybody, Dr. Ray with Chiropractic Plus. And you know what I've noticed is that people are a bit confused about toxicity, detoxification, um, things like that. Now, what does that mean? Um, you know, how do you reduce your exposure to toxicity? For example, toxic food. You know, I'm like, gosh, what do I eat? I, who would have thought? You know, it's 2023. And who would have thought you'd ask the question, what am I supposed to eat? right? We have a plethora of foods. We have all this variety. We have all these things. And yet we still ask the question, what am I supposed to eat? Well, let's reduce our exposure. Now, first of all, closest to nature, closest to God, best, all right? In the soil, pull it out. There it is. Boom. Don't even dust the dirt off. Dirt's got trace minerals and things, but watch out for your, your poisons that end up in that soil. So make sure you use a very organically based soil. If you can't get your own vegetables and fruits, again, go to farmer's markets through the summer. There's a great opportunity there. Make sure they're not using pesticides and herbicides. They're using natural ingredients. So, um, again, cow poop, best way to fertilize, not the chemicals, those types of things. But get out. And if nothing else, if you're in your grocery store, makes you look for the number nines. Number nines are your organics. That's the, that's the vegetables and fruits you want to be eating. Number nines, as it relates to your meats, grass-fed, grass-finished beef, pasture-raised, free-range, cage-free, all those are great options. Just be conscientious. The more of those you put in. Now, remember, cage-free doesn't necessarily mean they're free. That means they let them out, Put them back in and cage them up. That's why pasture raised is best. All right. And then cold water fish sources from the cold water is less toxic. So, uh, you no know, fish from uh, Alaska, cold water fish sources. Those are some of your best options to ensure that you're putting healthy, non toxic food into your body. And again, definitely avoid the GMOs. And that's the number eight. So, when you're reading the side of that number one position is an eight. Put it down, walk away from it, and never touch it again. That's genetically modified, which they claim was supposed to save us from overwatering. They made the hybrids weaker, and then they're needing more pesticides, more herbicides. So it just didn't pan out. But they're still doing it because it's very profitable for them. So anyway, I want you to listen to what I've said, take heed, and try to avoid that toxic food. Thanks for listening.